What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. So, I conferred with a couple other Souls buddies, in particular. I was talking to Ouroboro and Mr. I Won't Forget, and both of them stated, stop being a scrub, pay the Souls, and request absolution. So, oh, it hurts to do this, but I'm going to request it. Oh my god, I'm just going to close my eyes and pretend I never had all those Souls. Oh, fuck, I was cleansed of skin. Cleansed of skin, yes, that's correct, I'm skinless now. But anyway, now that I have no sin, Andre should not be trying to touch my bottom anymore. And more importantly, we're gonna go get the fat ring. So, a couple things are gonna happen in this episode. The first of which is I'm gonna get the fat ring. Um... You stop it, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <gasps> I lived. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen health so low? Have you ever... Look at my health bar. There's nothing. There was no health. Like, I, I basically set down the controller. I was for sure. I was like, oh, man. I fucked up. I'm dead. But no. No, I have not, bitches. Fuck you. Get off of the ladder. Oh my god. Please stop. Um, so I'm going to be sticking with the greatsword. I mean, as much of a scrub as he is, Mr. I Won't Forget is like the weapons master of Dark Souls. All he does is make videos about weapons. It's like he's taken each weapon to bed and jerked it off just the right way to get it to bust that perfect nut. And if there's anybody I'm going to talk to about weapons, it's going to be him. So, we had a, a rather lengthy conversation, um, and he basically came down, he was like, listen, you got some options, you cannot request absolution and level up the dragon greatsword, it's gonna cost a fuckload of stamina, and you don't know when you're gonna get the Havel Ring, so you probably should not do that, and I was like, yeah, no, and he was like, or, you can pay the souls and make Andre your friend again. And there he is, hammering away. So, in the long run, 19,000 really isn't that much. Let's just get it out of the way, even if it sets me back a little bit. And now Andre's our buddy again. So I'm going to get the fat ring. Um, after getting the DWGR and realizing how it's not going to help me, I was kind of on the fence, like, you know, because it's a randomizer run, but should I, you know... Is it is it fair to kill enemies that I know will drop something? Um, and I was kind of like, do I do this? Do I not do this? And so I took to Twitter. I did a poll. I said, do I get that fat ring? And I said, no, don't do it. Or get that ring. And everybody, it was well, it wasn't everybody, but it was like an 80% vote said, get that ring. So we're gonna go get that ring. And on top of that, Lautric is kind of an asshole. I mean, he tries to kill the firekeeper, and you know, there's no reason for that. Like, she's like some blind lady in a fucking cage, dude. Like, why do you gotta try and kill her? It just makes him an asshole. So we're gonna kill him, and we're gonna take his ring. And that's gonna give me health, stamina, and best ring in the game. It's gonna give me everything we want. It's gonna be the best. So we're gonna go get that right now. For my weird child ninja. Now, he was right down here. Hey, you. Douchebag. What the fuck? Come on. Come on. Kid. Can't I kick him off? What the hell? There's more than one way to kick you off this ledge. Damn it! That's not the ledge I wanted. What have we here? I fell on you. Go this way. Isn't it supposed to be like two kicks and he's dead? Oh no. no oh no. Oh no. Oh god no. No, no, I didn't mean to do this. Oh please stop touching me. So be it. Oh god no. Oh my god, he's hitting so hard. Uh Leviosa. I couldn't just kick him, I had to do things the hard way. Whatever, I'll earn that fucking ring. Fuck you, I have a greatsword. 
One more hit. It's not trying to parry, bitch. You were gonna kill a firekeeper anyway, you asshole. Uh, give me your stuff. Humanity ring of favor and protection. Fuck yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at my health increase. It feels so good. Thanks for the humanity, nerd. Anyway. Um, so now that I get that. So, a couple things I'm kind of on the fence of. So, alright. I, I brushed up on my... Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I need... I need to get the fucking large ember. I may even pull up the cheat list just to see where the fuck it's at. Because I really could use a large jumper right now. Um, so many good weapons that I'm not going to use. Anyway. Mm, I don't remember the Moonlight Butterfly giving me anything good. But I'll tell you what. Real fast here. Obviously you don't hear a sound right now. Let's see. Our savior Google. Moonlight Butterfly Horn or the Crystal Ring Shield. Hmm. Alright, well apparently the shield I don't get a parry. And I'm not gonna use the spear, so fuck it, I'm gonna eat that soul. I'm not no 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 no. Um use up everything we can. That was it? Damn, that was it. That sucks. Level up. Get my endurance up. Alright. Um, so from here, I could go after Sif. I could go back down to the Tomb of Giants, which I don't really like that idea. I don't feel like that's a... Uh, I mean, because I'm going to have to climb my way out. So I feel like that'll suck dick. Um, I could go after Sif. And I don't need the... the uh, I don't need the fucking Covenant. So I can save 20,000 souls there since I took the back route. Um, I could make my way to the Four Kings, which I think is a terrible idea. I hate that boss. So they're going to kill me a bunch. I could go to the Valley of Drakes. So... Based on those choices, I'm going to say the best thing is probably to go fight Sif. Um, so from here, I'm going to want to go this way. This way. Whoa. Go back to that shortcut. We're going to your room protection. Damn, I'm still mid-rolling even with that. I was like, I'm gonna put on some heavier shit, so I'll be fine. Damn, I'm still mid-rolling. What am I at exactly? 20 out of 76 6. Damn, I'm still mid-rolling. Well, fuck, I'm put on the gear. Yo, 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 calm down. Well, I should probably apologize. I don't usually, um, do YouTube series after drinking. Uh, but today we were playing some volleyball, and the pool was cold as fuck, so I had to have a couple beers, so I'm a little bit buzzed right now. Well, that's a lie. I'm, I'm, I'm like six IPAs deep in like two hours, so. It's very nice. Anyway, let's um go to the forest. I'm going to go past Andre. I'm going to take that loop. I'm going to go down. I'm going to kill a Hydra. See, I what I don't get, though, is so you could do that technically at any time. So then what's the point of the Covenant of Artorias thing? Because I could get to Sif, and my understanding is the whole Covenant of Artorias is to open that door that's in front of Andre. And then by opening that... You basically proceed through and you do your shit and then you fight Sif. 
But I already have a way to get to Sif. That's basically closer. I mean, well, maybe not. Maybe if I pay, the bonfire's closer. I don't know. I'm gonna. I gotta make my way down to the other bonfire. And more importantly, I really need my large ember. Like, I'm feeling kind of fucked right now because I have the very large ember. I have no chunks, so it doesn't matter. But I have the very large ember. I have a fuckload of slabs, and I don't have the large ember. And I would like, I mean, my great sword is already basically OP as fuck. If I were to put this thing up any higher, it would be like, really? It's kind of excessive. You don't need that damage right now. But the point stands, I want my damage. So either way, uh, we're going to continue on. And um, I don't know. I'll go through, I'll go through Sif. I'll go through probably another area, like maybe a couple more episodes. And if I, oh no, if I still haven't encountered where the um, <clears throat> the large ember is at, I might pull up my cheat sheet, just because that's, that's, that's the large ember. That's kind of fucking, kind of important, you know? Not that way. Oh god, don't run off. Oh god. I almost just killed myself. But wasn't there another bonfire? Did I ever make this run? No, I did. I made this run every fucking time that I died. Four. Wow, this feels a lot longer. I Man, I know I'm not like at the bonfire, but it feels a lot longer just in general. But I did, yeah, that's right. I ran all the way from the bonfire to the peoples. To peoples. I ran up the ladder and shit. So I want to explore the rest of the Fort Covenant area. Your first and I can't talk. This is why I don't typically record after drinking. It's on stream. If I'm flubbing my words, I don't give a shit. But after doing it and recording, it feels very unprofessional. But if you tell me it's unprofessional, I'll call you a bitch and I'll tell you to get over it. Anyway. Um, before we go, so I'm close to a level. So, let me see. 9957. Let's go kill a couple drakes. Because we only got to kill, like, two and a half. I mean, we're going to kill three. But a couple drakes and I can level up. And then, if I die to the boss, I'm not worried about my souls. Because, you know, whatever. I've spent them. Uh, turn around. Round out the door. It's really dark here. Hey, Drakey. Yeah, that stamina is showing up. Bad Drake. Don't you bite me. Bad. Down. Thousand. I almost feel like Like, I mean, I don't really want to call PETA on myself, but, like, it's fucked up what I'm doing right now. Eastern leggings. Okay, okay. I like some eastern leggings. Those are good. Good fashion. Dragon Slayer arrows. God, dude, the, the ledges are so fucking tight in Dark Souls 1. What the hell just happened? What the hell's going on? There we go. That was weird. My controller just, like, stopped moving for a second. I thought it died, but it didn't. Oh, that's right. The undead dragon thing. I mean, I got 15 Estus. And he's probably guarding some badass stuff. Ouch. Don't do that. 
do that. Don't, no, stop that. Stop. Oh, shit. He was like, bitch, I'm done messing with you. Stop it. Or, like, there was, like, the, there was a solid minute there where I was like, I can do this. I'm beating this guy. He is getting fucked up. And then he was just like, shut your fucking whore mouth. And he just slapped me. And that went very badly, very fast. Look at that thing move. Look at those graphics. They're so fucking nice when they're tuned up. For real though, like, I would love a Dark Souls 1 remastered, like, everything toned up, you know, make, like, tweak the audio, tweak the, like, the little weird, like, uh, lag spikes we get there when we're, we're going down, clean up the enemies a bit, give them a little bit of polish, like, because at the core, this really is a fucking fantastic game. Even if it wasn't the Dark Souls I was introduced with, after this, after having the series kind of grow on me, and becoming a bigger fan of it. Um, you know, seeing this game given, basically given back the glory it deserves. Holy shit! No! That got way too fucking close. Where did he just land? Did he go out there under the bridge? Well, fuck you, dude. Oh no, I killed him. How did I kill him? He, did he fly off? Did a dragon just die to gravity? How is that a fucking thing? That's like a bird falling to its death out of a tree. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care, dude. I'm getting my souls back. I don't got time for you. I just witnessed a dragon die to gravity. That's impressive. Like, the fucking thing has wings. It flew a second before, and then it killed itself. Um, so I, like kind of remember this not entirely but kind of um and i remember that he has like ouch ouch oh my god please let me out of here nope damn i was gonna say i remember that he has like openings where it's like you hit him and then he swipes, like very similar to the Hydra, if you will, where it's like there's big attacks coming in, and if you dodge those, you're okay. If you don't, you're gonna get fucked. But he just did three of them in the row really fast, and it ruined me, so. I don't know why I have Black Flame on. Uh, I'm sure by now, one of you will, will probably comment and like, Cowboy, use your Black Flame, but uh, yeah, no Pyromancy Flame. Sorry, bruh. Don't have it. I would love to have it. I don't. Bet if this sword was plus 10, I'd kill his ass. Child Guts. Also a ninja. Is now going down to fight the dragon. Because we all know I'm not going to be taking that thing back up. What's up, buddy? One... Plus a double stun and like half of itself bar. Alright, the Drakes are super farmable at a thousand souls a pop. Like, I don't even feel bad about having to pay for Absolution now. And this one's an asshole and flies past me every time, so I'm like, eh, whatever, dude. You do you. I got other shit I gotta take care of right now. Like fighting the giant undead dragon that's literally one-shotting my ass. Look, he's just waiting there. He's like, bitch, you think you're getting these treasures? I mean, technically, I could get the treasures. Let's get the treasures. Now it's fucking personal. Before, 
before, I just wanted my souls. Now, I'm gonna fucking... My seat was all nice and lean back. I was relaxing. I was, like, having fun with this. No, no, no. No, no. You fucking cock snout piece of shit. Now, I'm gonna teach you a lesson and shove my greatsword up your dick hole. So double R2 is a bad idea. Well, actually, if I wait just a little bit... Oh, no, never mind that. Really? You're not dead? Wow. I mean, it's not like it matters. I already lost the souls, so... I really can't believe I died to the fucking undead dragon before getting my souls back. All right, let, let me let me straighten out my thought process here. I'm a little bit a little bit all over the place. So for now, from my perspective, he always swipes left to right. So if I'm rolling to the left, I should dodge his attacks based on, like, standard Dark Souls protocol. Every time I should be able to dodge him. Two. Oh, my one, two, three didn't work. That one did, but wow, he's recovering quicker than I thought. So I'm going to try, because right now I'm trying to fight him on the right side of his face. And I think that's my problem. I think that's one of the best things about this run is like, I I, re I remember very little about like every major enemy. Like I remember you can parry Gwyn. I remember Gwyn is supposed to be easy if you just parry him. Just parry him, that's what everyone says. Just parry him. Um, but aside from that, the only other thing I can think is... I mean, I remember the Moonlight Butterfly, obviously. He, he, I remember he flies around for a bit being a dick, and then he eventually lands. And my whole strategy there was wait until he lands. Okay, douchebag. That didn't even hit me. Fuck your hitbox. Obsidian greatsword? Isn't that, like, supposed to be really fucking good? What did I just be? Did I just get something badass? Yep, okay, from my left to the right. I could probably be a cheeky cunt and do this until you're dead. Oh, that's gonna take a long time. That didn't even tickle him. He has a different punch, too. Oh, God. Mm, blocking. It's not working out here. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to give up on this guy because he just fucked me out of, like, a level. He fucked me out of a level. Which isn't that much. To be honest, I could farm that back up in about three minutes just running these two drakes. Just Drake, Drake, ele up the elevator. Drake, Drake, up the elevator. Would not be hard. But it's the principle of him fucking me without at least taking me on a first date and buying me dinner. 
I don't appreciate that. Because I like cheesecake, and he offered no cheesecake, and because of that, you know, I've kind of lost respect for him. He could have at least been like, hey, cowboy, um, I heard you really like cheesecake, so do I. Can I maybe buy you some cheesecake, you know, a little bit of strawberry drizzle, and uh, maybe afterwards we can bang. And I'd be like, hey, you know, that's, uh, yeah, I'll, that sounds nice. But no, instead he just showed up and was like, fuck you. And just gave me his decaying dragon wiener. And that's not, you know, that's not how you make a good first impression. You can't just fucking throw it at someone like he did. Fuck you. I'm not wasting time with you. And damn, is that a 5 Estus bonfire? Jesus. You can't even follow me on this ledge. Keep coming this way. Your ass is gonna fall off. Derpy bitch. So he does attack from both directions. I feel like if I just dodge, I'll be fine. If I'm just like, I gotta block his breath and then like, dodge, dodge his, his sweeps. practice dodging it. Oh yeah, I can beat your ass now. Oh, no. God damn it. Oh. Um, I don't want to. You know what? I'm going to just get my souls. I'm going to suck up my pride for now. Because the fact of the matter is, if I didn't have my... Oh, God, no. That's a really long elevator. Uh, well, I'm not going to worry about my souls anymore. Um, if I didn't have the fat ring, he'd probably be one-shotting me. And, you know, the fact that he's hitting me that hard is telling me I don't need to fuck with him right now. Like, that's... He's, he's like, I have one, two, three, four, I have six chunks of health, we'll say. And right now, he is hitting me for five of my six chunks. Which tells me I need to just come back to him later after I have more health and stamina and my weapon hits harder. So, unfortunately, we're going to sacrifice those souls. And instead, I'm going to make my way back past where the, uh, um, the fat roly-poly cats were. And I'm going to explore the forest sanctuary area. And then we're going to fight Puppy Dog. Because I'm not taking down Dragon Cuck Face right now. It's just, I can't do it. I wanted to beat him because I was like, fuck this guy, you stole souls from me. But, no, nah, he's just, he's hitting me too fucking hard. I can't do it. Even me after drinking knows that it's a dumb decision to continue just battering my head against that wall. But these guys, I can fuck them up. Hey, Crystal Buddy. Did you just juke that by punching? They're so shiny when I kill you. But anyway, we're going to wrap this one up in a second. Uh, we'll be doing the forest as well as Puppy Dog in the next episode. Uh, record it like a day from now where I haven't been drinking at all. I mean, it's a holiday weekend, alright? It's I'm recording this on like a Sunday. And, um, yeah. I'm, I'm allowed to drink when Memorial Day is coming up because it's a, it's a holiday. So don't judge me. Anyway. Point stands. We're going to wrap this one up. Next episode, we're going to tackle Sif. The dragon may have fucked me a little bit, but it's okay. We're going to go back and we're going to get a revenge on him a little bit later. Probably uh, around like part, I don't know, 20 or so after we're beefed up. I'm going to come back with a super pimp weapon and just literally beat the shit out of him. And he's going to be like, no, senpai, that hurts. And I'm going to go, shut your mouth, bitch. And just beat the fucking dick out of him. And that'll teach him a lesson. But until then... It's time to go fight a giant puppy dog. And then from there, I, I guess we're going back to the Tomb of Giants because uh, 
I mean, well, no, if I can get, fuck, if I can get past that giant dragon, I could enter the, uh, lower bird. But that still won't get me to the goddamn depths where I need to go to get my pyromancy flame. So I don't know. Anyway, SIF next episode. Stay tuned. We'll catch you guys then.